You that's know, all I'm say. You know, I know that's true. You know that's true. You, you've seen Jerry and me, so you know For that sure. that's true, that there has to be a boss in the house with a you know, level head, right? <laughs> but uh, Rose, uh, obviously the history, uh, Rose got cancer mm -hmm. and she died and it was pretty, pretty sad and devastating. Then um, I got contacted by Don saying that they're going to um, buy a building in Milton, Ontario, uh, Side Road 15, I believe, and um, they wanted to uh, build the Rose Cherry Home. So I immediately thought, well, we got to do something with Don and Ron. Right. So um, I, I told them my idea. I said, you know what? Why don't we take the painting of uh, American Gothic and turn it into Canadian Gothic? I mean, you guys are perfect Canadian uh, specimens to, we'll just pop out that, that woman and that old farmer and we'll pop you guys in. I said it'll be taking the, the, you know, taking the jiggy yeah. out of things, you know? And uh, so I replaced the house in the background with the, actually I used the old arena, except oh, I, old I narrowed it a bit. Yeah. You know, I took some liberties and uh, I slipped in the Rose Cherry logo that's on the cameo of the yeah. map. Actually, I did that logo as well. I sat at Don Cherry's kitchen table and drew it in a rough, and he took it. He said, that's it, that's the one I want. I went, are you sure? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that's how the Rose Cherry thing became uh, their symbol. And the actual leaves in the corner, when I actually went to the construction site, it was nice, a beautiful fall day, and I was looking around going, wow, this is really, really impressive. Uh, then I saw all these red leaves and I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to, no, I actually, I, when I did my initial painting, I actually glued leaves all down onto a board. And one thing you got to learn about leaves is when you glue them down, <laughs> they'll come back at you. They just sprung up <laughs> everywhere. So I started doing this painting and they're, they're just curling up on me. And I went, oh, I can't do this. But I was still adamant that I was going to use those leaves in some capacity in the painting. And actually, in the last quarter of the painting, that's when I went, you know what? I know where to I'm going to pop, pop them in the corner and yeah. uh, see how it goes. So we actually put this on national television and it was a February 2004, I believe. We got, we got slammed with the orders for the print, but everybody was blown away by how real I made those leaves look. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, um. I didn't do that. Same thing. I had the same thing with the paintings with the dirt. Right. Everybody says, you made the dirt look so real. It is real. It is real. It's the leaves are real. Yeah. But that actually spawned my uh, program for my maple leaf program that I use every year, yeah. uh, where I hand paint maple leaves and I sell them right across the country. It's mm -hmm. pretty fun. Now, um, Rob didn't bring any of his maple leaf artwork with no. him today, but if you go to his website, you've got to take a look because there's some great pictures. Mm -hmm. Great pictures there where he's taking a maple leaf and made it, you know, the body of somebody. Or, or you can whatever. friend him. How about friend me on Facebook? There you, you go. Know, just you can friend him on Facebook. Look up Rob McDougall and uh, I'll friend you and you can take a look at all the work that I've done on Facebook. It's yeah. That's been a lot of fun, actually. Yeah. Are we friends on Facebook? I think we might I think be. We are. I don't know. I think we are. Know. Well, you know, it's a weird thing about Facebook. You know, I got 650 friends according to Facebook. Do you but, know 650 no. people? <laughs> Let's talk about this. I want to talk about